hello good people welcome to my youtube channel i did promise you yesterday that in today's video i'll tell you where i get my clients as a freelance writer or an online worker but before i get there i must tell you that there are people that i have come to know through the online society that i have personalized conversations with i tell them my intimate details on the struggles i have faced as an online worker and the things i'm doing to improve my online business or to become a better digital entrepreneur and how i get these people is through my community so the people in the writer's fantasy community get to communicate to me directly i get to write to them every tuesday telling them the different small but significant things that i do that are helping me as a business person and as an online writer so if you'd like to be among these people that i have these conversations with just go to my website and join the writer's fantasy community and then we'll have these conversations every tuesday and i promise you that if you write to me i will definitely respond back to you i'm going to share with you five ways that have worked for me and which i hope of course will also work for you to get your clients online so let's jump into it the first way which i get my clients is through online working sites so i'm a member of two online working sites and one of them i have to bid for works and the other one clients automatically find me if they look for things within my niche and things which i am good at because i've worked for this site for very long it's very easy for clients to identify me and to read the reviews that other customers have written about me and so they reach out to me and ask me if I can work for them. I think I've said this in previous videos that joining online working sites could be easy but you need to invest time and you have to really market yourself well to be able to get customers out of it. So that's the first way that I get my clients. The second one is cold calling. Now cold calling for people who work in offices means literally going from office to office, knocking on doors and asking, hey, I offer these services. Is there something that I can do for you? Now that is different for an online worker. Cold calling for me means I have to identify customers that have a need through the internet. So I search through people's websites. I search through their social media accounts. I look through their things and I see there's something missing here that I can provide for them. So I reach out to them and tell them hey you know what i am really good at this i'm a good writer i'm a good content creator and i see that you're lacking this this and this and i would love to provide it for you why don't we discuss it and see if you could give me some remuneration and i could help you in one way or another so that's the other way i get customers i literally cold call in these online streets the third one which i really didn't believe in until it started working for me is word of mouth this means um my close friends and family obviously know what i do for a living and so they speak to other people about me if they hear somebody speaking about things that they think they are of interest to me they do mention me to them i'll tell you this for free just this weekend somebody from this youtube channel and i'll give you a shout out when i find out who you are somebody from here did refer somebody to me and now we are in negotiations to start a ghost writing gig so if it was you thank you so much i do not have so many followers here on youtube but to have the few of you and to know that we are in sync we understand each other we know what you are doing you go out of your way to learn more about me and even recommend me to other people oh goodness you have no idea how that has touched me i haven't found out who it is yet but my client did tell me they were referred by somebody here on youtube i'm so glad thank you so much if it's you please identify yourself also okay identify yourself stop being anonymous so word of mouth does work speaking about the things you do if you want to get customers do tell Tell the people in your environment do tell the people with similar interests what you do because at the end of the day if they do get somebody who is interested in your kind of business they are going to bring them your way so the fourth one is through referrals and this is how referrals work i have worked for you you have loved my job and so i ask you hey thank you for giving me business would you like to refer me to somebody else who could be in your line of business and who could need my services it looks like you're just asking a random question and most times the tell you no but they have noted and if they did love your service i promise you that your client will refer you to another customer so i've gotten a lot of referrals from my clients both online and offline so the ones i work with here in nairobi or here in kenya they will tell somebody else about me and most times they will invite me either for a meeting or for a cup of coffee and then i'll get to know the third party and we'll get into business like that online they literally just tell other people about me and i end up getting emails 
telling me I am interested in this, this and this or you did this for so and so, I would love it if you did it for me. I think by now it's obvious that for you to get referrals, you have to have good relationships with the people you're working with. That means giving them good service and being very clear in your communication. So that is another way in which you get clients online. Finally, and this will come as a surprise to you, is actually attending conferences and seminars. So I recently attended a seminar, but that seminar was just full of freelance writers. And because of that, you'd think you wouldn't get anything out of it because there are people with similar interests to yourself, but people write about different things. For example, when I'm writing for newsrooms, it came as a surprise to me, but I found out that I'm inclined to business kind of stories. When I'm going writing I found that I'm inclined to medical kind of scripts so when you're in a society where you're meeting other freelance writers you will get a writer who specifically deals with buildings and architecture stuff or somebody who specifically deals with fictional stuff they will not write anything which is not fictional somebody else doesn't want to do research somebody else doesn't want to conduct interviews and so when they get clients of this nature they will automatically refer them to you see how it works so even your own colleagues can actually refer you to jobs because if it's beyond what they do they wouldn't want to give a customer a, a below standards deal so they would refer them to somebody who they know will give them better deals so how do you do this by interacting with other freelance writers if you're freelancing in other fields it is also important that you interact with people who are within your field they will help you and even if they don't give you clients they will give you ideas that will grow your business grow your brand grow you as a person uh, so it's important that you interact with them when I attend conferences, for example, or when I attend exhibitions, for example, I'm very keen to watch out for companies that are exhibiting or that are trying to market themselves. And most times I try and find the person who is in authority at that particular time. Most times they don't have enough time to talk with you. But when I meet with them, I introduce myself. I give them a business card. They give me their business card and I tell them what I'm about. They tell me what they're about and I leave it at that. But when I get home, when I've given them time to settle after the exhibition after the conference i do reach out and tell them hey do you remember me we spoke during this and this exhibition or this and this conference i told you what i do i'm really interested in what you do and i'd like for us to work together do you think i can provide this and this service for your company and that is how i get my customers as simple as that most times you'll have to go out of your way it's very easy to think that working online means just sit on the internet and work will just find you it really won't find you it's not that easy you have to go out of your way to reach out to customers you have to know how to reach out to them in a proper professional manner to be able to get clients and to grow your client list i hope this video has covered it all if there's another way you know which you get your customers let me know in the comment section below i would really love to learn from you as well i'm really interested to know so let's discuss it in the comment section below until my next video goodbye